What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below. Uh, this one's entitled Money Doesn't Excuse Bullshit. You know, we live in a capitalist society. And I've always, I've been wrestling with this for a long time. Well, you know, people act like if you make money in this country, it ex it's a free pass for your bullshit. You know, the way this country was founded, all the murder was to equal money. And, and now we try to excuse it because people got rich off of it. So, I think it's bullshit, you know. You got people, um, people stole land and killed people. And, but we have, you know, but look, we have 50 states. You didn't buy, you didn't trade for them, you murdered for them. But now that you got money because of that, because you, some shit you stole, Financially for free, but cost people's lives. Now that you made a profit off of that, it's not bullshit. No, it's still bullshit. Like having money at the end of the day does not excuse it being bullshit. You know, people have a wavering sense of ethics and morality. You know, oh, this person is this person is a, is a jerk. It's a scam artist. It's an asshole. Who worth twenty million dollars? Well, I guess that's you know. Hey, well, you know, can't can knock the hustle. Yeah, you could. Yeah, actually, you could. Like if he scammed, you know, lied, cheated, stole his way to twenty million dollars. Yeah, you could pretty much knock the hustle because they got that money off of bullshit. You know, but people are like, but that's capitalism, and I don't, <clears throat> and I have a problem with that because it's only capitalism when. You can get some get somebody, or somebody didn't get you. It's not capitalism when it happens to you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not like if um, if I decided right now, you know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hack into a bank and, and fleece, you know, a dollar out of five hundred thousand people's bank account. Once a month for the next 10 years. Well, he got a, it's just a dollar. I got, I got millions of dollars. I got a whole lot of money. I'll give you your dollar back. Okay, can you give every dollar that you stole from all 500,000 of those people every month for the next 10 years? Well, I just take a five. Yeah, I just. I'm, I'm going to keep my money. It's not your money. You stole all of that money. But, but I got enough money to buy lawyers that I, so I don't have to get that money back. And maybe I'll go to jail and you know, pay the maximum fine and keep the rest of the cash. You know, it doesn't, you know, and, I, and I'll be a businessman. I'll just be a guy who found a loophole in the system and I got money. See, it doesn't, it, it, it excuses. It doesn't really excuse the bullshit, you know. People get mad because, oh, you know, it's a difference when I think a person, people don't like a person's personality, but they got it, but they work hard for their money. See, that's my thing with people like, um, people like Steve Jobs came, was an immigrant who came from nothing. People like Floyd Mayweather who fought his way up to being a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? People like, um, what is it, Lonnie Johnson, who, who made the Super Soaker, like, you actually did something and perfected something, and now, it might have got murky along the way, because even, you know, I don't know about Lonnie Johnson, I think he's done pretty great work, but as far as, like, Steve Jobs and Floyd, there have been some things that, that were considered suspect that they've done, right, and, but people excuse, oh, they're millionaires, you know, people own sweatshops in other countries, 
and people suffer because of that. But oh, it's just business. You know, look at the profit margin. Um, money don't excuse that. You know, oh, you got a profit margin. Oh, you, you're driving. Is a Mulsan, you know. Oh, oh my God, that excuses the bullshit. You know, oh, you know we have a, a refrigerator and champagne in the back headrest. That just excuses us. Yes, it does. You know, a couple of babies were born with defects because of our business decision. But ah, uh, I made enough money to make sips on some of this nice Don Perignon, and um, doesn't really matter. I mean. Didn't happen to me and my kids. You know, that type of stuff, right? Um, people go into other countries and steal their resources, don't pay the people, you know, and then come out with, ex with expensive bullshit suits. <laughs> and people say, that's a, that's, a, that's a great businessman. No, that's a horrible human being. That's what that is. Like, when it, when, because of capitalism, we think that business is to, you know, brutalize somebody that's, that's, that's poor or, or unknowing of your devious plan and to shortchange them, take the resources from there, go to a completely different place, sell it to a completely different population of people for as high as you can mark it up. And you become rich and probably pay people way below the wage of the product you're selling that you could pay them as employees of yours. And damn sure uh, not pay the people in the place where you got it from. Or pay them the lowest minimum price you can get. You know, and, and expose them to all kinds of ridiculousness, right? So my issue with that is, you know, Money doesn't excuse that. You know, people go around <clears throat> acting as though because my bank account says this, I could talk to anybody any kind of way. But then when they get the taste slapped out their mouth, <gasps> that $10,000 in my pocket didn't excuse. What? That was supposed to, I wasn't supposed to get slapped. I have too much money for that. No, you don't. Doesn't excuse not being um, a... Um, a respectful human being you know having money doesn't mean you can it makes this per like you up here and everybody under your tax bracket like way beneath you that's not what it's about you know I've seen people commit crimes you know they can't but you know like the affluenza kid right the, he grew up with so much money, he doesn't have a sense of right and wrong, or morality. Yeah, he does. Know how I know? Because remember, when he got caught violating probation, how him and his mother ditched the country? <laughs> they know right and wrong. They, they just say, we got enough money, we can excuse it. You know, let's, let's get the best lawyers. Let's, let's, you know, let's get the best, use our connections to get in good with the judge, let's drop a donation to his re-election fund and you know, probably get a favorable um, favorable verdict. But then take that same thing out in public, like, you know what? I can I can do a lot. You know, I you seen the the, the the guys getting off with rapes for the same reason. Guys, uh, the people they had a ring of welfare fraud in Jersey. Same thing. Um, you know, um, drug dealers on a regular basis. Same thing, you know. And I'm not talking about the petty drug dealers y'all thinking about. I'm talking about them big, you know, El Chapo type cats. Just, you know, how, you, how he getting Forbes, I'll never know. But because but, he had the money, they excused the bullshit, right? You know, and it's always been an issue of mine because, you know, people act as though that, you know, it's okay. But then, if they find themselves in a situation where somebody is richer than them and treats them uh, subhuman, 
Like, your money don't mean you can do such and such and such and such. Well, you should have thought about that before you excused everybody else's behavior. Like, oh, they rich. You know, this is the type of messages they putting out. Well, you know, obviously because it's making money, it's working. Okay. You know. This is the kind of product they're selling that's destroying other people's lives. But, hey. They're making money, so it's worth it. You know, remember when they when they took that, was it, it was a medication that, that was helping people. Remember the guy was like, it was like 20 bucks. He tried to mark it up to like four, 500 or something like that per pill or whatever. Because he wanted to, you know, he got a, he was able to get the patent for it. That was just ridiculous. But he was making money, right? So, I mean, to me, that's the that, that's one of the worst problems of capitalism in this country that, that people swear to God that if you make enough money, it excuses your bullshit. My personal opinion, it doesn't. If you bullshit, if you a BS person, you're a BS person, you know. And then and the, the irony of it is people want to quote unquote say they're religious and Christian as if you could buy or you the same ideology is you're going to buy your way into heaven. Right, that's what, that's what the tithe and offering has been perverted to. Right, you're gonna buy your way into heaven, and at the same time, a lot of people use that in the same way as thinking of thinking like you know, the Jesus that you quote unquote, the Son of God that you worship, you would have treated him like complete garbage. Kid born in a barn by a single mother. Wandering around, poor. He wouldn't. He wouldn't last in a capitalist society. Not this one. Because, so what? He could create miracles. He ain't got no money. <laughs> he said, oh, you turn water into wine. Oh, cool. well, somebody lock that little kid up in the jail cell and make him touch every water bottle we got, and we gonna sell it for. Her. You know, $25 a bottle, we're going to call it, you know, Jesus Red. The, you know, <laughs> the hand of God wine. You know, that's that's what capitalism would do, you know. We made money, so what did we lock Jesus up and force him to turn water into wine the rest of his life? And if we didn't, you know, we'd probably torture him. And I know somebody's like, we, we, this country wouldn't do that. He was a, you know you're a lie. You know you're a lie. This country has done pretty much every, that similar thing over and over and over and over and over again inside this these borders and outside. So it is what it is, man. I'm out.